Now, I have to tell you about my wife. My wife's name is Mary Lou. I call her Mary Lou out of the blue. Yeah. Now, you women may not be able to understand this. You men will get this. She asks questions and makes statements without any context. <laughs> Mary Lou out of the blue, all right? We're sitting at Applebee's. We're having a free meal. It's Veterans Day. We get a free meal. She's sitting there eating her steak. I'm ha having my chicken panay. How many know food tastes better when it's free? Okay. Amen. This was a free meal. We had a good seat, nice ambiance, you know, nice waiter. Suddenly she looks up at me and says, when we get home, I'm going to try on my swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't help it. I can't help it. This, this went to my head. The first thought I had in my head is, why ruin a good night? I'm such a sinner, I know, but it was there. But I didn't say it because I'm married 37 years and I know better than that. There you go. Yes. And you know, we do get along pretty good, but sometimes we argue over the heat. She's always hot, so she makes the apartment freezing cold. But our apartment is so cold that when I eat ice cream, I get brain thaw. <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm pausing. You guys are laughing. That's how this is supposed to go. Our apartment is so cold that when I leaned against the stove, I froze my buns. Mm. Come on, this That's is cold. cold. Our apartment is so cold that I couldn't get my wallet out of my back pocket because I froze my assets. Uh. <laughs> okay. A little bit risky. I decided to go there, you know. <laughs> Warren, Warren's laughing, that's good, he's holding his head, he's either enjoying this or he's in pain. <laughs> but Valentine's Day was recently, and uh, uh, I said to my wife, honey, what's your love language? Is it gifts? Is it kind words? She looked at me and said, I don't like to answer that when you're chewing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, that this, I'm not making, this is real, I'm not making this, you know my wife very little, right? Am I, am I right? Oh yeah. Come on. oh yeah. So I said to her, okay honey, finish this poem. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. I am yours and you are mine. She said, give me your credit card, I'll be home by nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She said that. Yeah, get smart That's her she... language, yes. yeah. <laughs> right. Shopping, shopping. <laughs> well, one thing as a pastor I have learned all these years is you do not need to tell a man that he's a sinner. His wife has already informed him of that. <laughs> <laughs> Women? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think it's important as a pastor to uh, stay abreast of current events. You guys keep up on current events? Uh, just so you know, ever since 9-11, you don't want to get on an airplane and greet your friend by saying, Hi, Jack. <laughs> just telling you, don't do it. Right. Abigail, she's 12 years old. She came over to my house. This happened last week, I think. She comes in and she asks me the question. 12 years old, she's asking me that question. And I'm thinking, man, can't it wait till she's like 16? She said to me, Grandpa, is my butt too big? <laughs> 12 years old! Now, immediately, I just sought wisdom from God. <laughs> and I said to her, honey, that's a question that any man would move out of state before he answered. And women, just so you know, okay, Men have a policy over that. It's called don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> you don't ask, <laughs> we won't tell. <laughs> uh, what's the deal with Miley Cyrus? Is that creepy or what? I mean, every time you see her, she's sticking her tongue out. You know, they actually measured to see how long her tongue was. But they measured it and they found out it was about half a Miley. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Make a note of that, Phil. That's the groaner of the night. Okay. <laughs> But I heard that um, Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus are teaming up to do a movie. Uh -huh. Pause. Okay. Uh -oh. It's going to be named uh, Twerking 9 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a nap. This really happened. I like a, my easy chair like that. I have a nap, and I hear this in a dream. The brain scan results are in. Good news, they found one. <laughs> God is riffing on me, right? So my wife said her computer, I said, honey, and I told her the dream. She said, they found one what? I said, a brain. 
Fifteen minutes later, she posted on Facebook. The only problem was it was empty. <laughs> That's my loving wife of 37 years. <laughs> and uh, how many have read the book of Hosea? Good book to read. But I would not want to have the assignment that Hosea the prophet had. He had to marry a woman named Gomer. <laughs> okay, you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> Wedding night. He pulls the veil back. And she says, well, go holy. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Shazam. I don't want that assignment. No, thank you, Lord. You know, I am older now. I'm 58. And uh, I kind of like the word laxative now that I'm older. It just sounds so relaxing. And my body doesn't work as well as it used to. I went home the other day, I had to use the bathroom, we had one bathroom, which is a joke from God. I knocked on the door, and my wife's in there, I said, honey, I gotta go. She said, can you wait ten minutes? I said, no, I gotta go now. She said, can you hold it? I said, depends. 